Greetings from Calvary Lutheran Church. The Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Advertisers will tell you that the company's logo is the most important thing in their advertising campaigns. You can think of the Nike swoosh, or the script of Coca-Cola, or the blue oval of Ford, or the apple, apple, or the three-pointed star of Mercedes-Benz as probably being the most recognizable logos. But I'd like to suggest that there's another symbol that surpasses all of those just mentioned, and that's the cross of Christianity. The Savior's lifelong work of saving humanity from eternal death and hell is summed up in that simple symbol of two lines transversing each other. Both believers and unbelievers know that that cross symbolizes the death of Jesus. Now to the unbeliever, to the skeptic, that cross is just a joke for those simple-minded believers who can't face life alone. But to us believers, we know what that cross is. It's the place where our God secured salvation for us, saved us from our sins, took away hell's damnation from us. Depending on whom you talk to, that cross is either hope or, and happiness or foolishness and folly. Oh, there's one more thing that the cross is. It's frightening. Yes, that cross is frightening to some because it represents an entity that takes power away from them. For instance, in some provinces in China, the official government has decreed that you cannot put crosses on top of Christian churches. And any crosses that were on top of Christian churches had to be taken down. You can have small crosses on the front of the churches, but not on top of the churches. Now you may ask, why is that? It's because the government is intimidated by Christianity. They see the rapid rise of, in the Christian faith, and they want to show the people that they, the government, are in control, not the Savior. It's an effort that's doomed to failure. Throughout history, the Savior has been seen as the one who gives a peace that governments can't give. And that's why the Vietnamese government, a, Chinese, a communist nation, has asked the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod to come into the country and build and maintain a ministry training center for the Hmong people. They recognize that Christianity, that the Savior can give a peace that they never can. And government can't give forgiveness of sins. Government can't guarantee eternal life in heaven. Government can't do any of those things. No, it's the cross where Jesus secured the forgiveness of sins. It's because of the cross that all guilt is removed from us. As the Apostle Paul said, to us who are being saved, it, that is the cross and its message, is the power of God. And we pray. Dear Lord, may we lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Let every race and every language tell of him who saves our souls from death and hell. Thank you for sending your son to die for us and take our sins away. While others consider the cross and its message to be foolishness, we know that it is our salvation. Keep us bold in the faith despite the persecution we face. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.